Python Infinity, any caveats? So Python has positive and negative infinity. This just seems like the type of feature that has to have some caveat. Is there anything I should be aware of? You can still get not a number, nan, values from simple arithmetic involving int. Note that you will normally not get an int value for usual arithmetic calculations. The int value is considered a very special value with unusual semantics, so it's better to know about an overflow or a straightaway through an exception, rather than having an int value silently injected into your calculations. Python's implementation follows the IEEE 754 standard pretty well, which you can use as a guidance, but it relies on the underlying system it was compiled on, so platform differences may occur. Recently Superscript 1, a fix has been applied that allows infinity as well as inf, but that's of minor importance here. The following sections equally well apply to any language that implements IEEE floating point arithmetic correctly, it is not specific to just Python. Comparison for inequality when dealing with infinity in greater than is greater than or less than is lower than operators, the following counts. Any number including plus inf is higher than inf, any number including inf is lower than plus inf, plus inf is neither higher nor lower than plus inf. Inf is neither higher nor lower than inf, any comparison involving nan is false, inf is neither higher nor lower than nan. Comparison for equality. When compared for equality, plus inf and plus inf are equal, as are inf and inf. This is a much debated issue and may sound controversial to you, but it's in the IEEE standard and Python behaves just like that. Of course, plus inf is unequal to inf and everything, including nan itself, is unequal to nan. Calculations with infinity? Most calculations with infinity will yield infinity, unless both operands are infinity, when the operation division or modulo, or with multiplication with zero, there are some special rules to keep in mind. When multiplied by zero, for which the result is undefined, it yields nan. When dividing any number, except infinity itself, by infinity, which yields 0.0, .0 or minus 0.0, .0 squared. When dividing, including modulo, positive or negative infinity by positive or negative infinity, the result is undefined, so nan. When subtracting, the results may be surprising, but follow common math sense. When doing inf, inf, the result is undefined, nan. When doing inf, inf, the result is inf. When doing inf, inf, the result is inf. When doing inf, inf, the result is undefined, nan. When adding, it can be similarly surprising too. When doing inf plus inf, the result is inf. When doing inf plus inf, the result is undefined, nan. When doing inf plus inf, the result is undefined, nan. When doing inf plus inf, the result is inf. Using math.pow, power is tricky, as it doesn't behave as it should. It throws an overflow exception when the result with two real numbers is too high to fit a double precision float, it should return infinity, but when the input is inf or inf. It behaves correctly and returns either inf or 0, .0. When the second argument is nan, it returns nan, unless the first argument is 1.0. There are more issues, not all covered in the docs.
Math.exp suffers the same issues as math.pal. A solution to fix this for overflow is to use code similar to this. Notes. Note 1, as an additional caveat, that is defined by the IEEE standard, if your calculation result under or overflows, the result will not be an under or overflow error, but positive or negative infinity, 1E308 times 10.0 yields inf. Note 2, because any calculation with NAN returns NAN and any comparison to NAN, including NAN itself is false, you should use the math.isNAN function to determine if a number is indeed NAN. Note 3, though Python supports writing float NAN, the sign is ignored because there exists no sign on NAN internally. If you divide int plus int, the result is NAN, not NAN, there is no such thing. Note 4, be careful to rely on any of the above, as Python relies on the C or Java library it was compiled for it and not all underlying systems implement all this behavior correctly. If you want to be sure, test for infinity prior to doing your calculations. Superscript 1, recently means since version 3.2. Squared, floating points support positive and negative 0, so x, float int keeps its sign in minus 1, float int yields minus 0 0.01, .01, float int yields minus 0 .01, .01, float in field 0.0 and 1 slash float in field 0.0. In addition, 0.0, .0 .0 equals equals minus 0.0, .0 is true, you have to manually check the sign if you don't want it to be true. A very bad caveat, division by 0. In a 1 slash x fraction, up to x equals 1 e minus 323 it is inf but when x equals 1 e minus 324 or little it throws zero division error. So be cautious. I found a caveat that no one so far has mentioned. I don't know if it will come up often in practical situations, but here it is for the sake of completeness. Usually, calculating a number modulo infinity returns itself as a float, but a fraction modulo infinity returns nan, not a number. Here is an example. I filed an issue on the Python bug tracker. It can be seen at, this URL. Update, this will be fixed in Python 3.8. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing.